welcome to version three, everyone. And um, I'm doing this as pure request. I did post in the group that I'm not taking any support until Tuesday on how to use Browsio version three, um, specifically the automation. That's the major, major difference. There's lots of other improvements and features and and all sorts of different things you'll see in the settings over here and this. And we'll talk about everything on the webinar, um, as well as all the other little additions you'll be noticing. Um, but the main features that you're all going to want to get rocking with, I know, is the automation. So this is the two places you need to be focusing on. Here in the corner, first of all, Firefox you see is now the default. That's because the automation is in Firefox. And the um, little Browsio guy is the uh, automation. So you click on that. And then you've got scripts here, which you can import your own custom scripts. And then these are the importing. These are the ones that we're um, managing and supporting for you guys. Okay, so there's much more coming. Right now, this is what we have. Um, Facebook, Google+, Plus, um, if this, then that. Plus, we've got a whole bunch of random logins over there to help with the if this, then that automation and other automation, Pinterest, Reddit, and Twitter. So we're basically automating um, all of the main social media sites, um, Tumblr and other ones are imminently going to be coming out 3.1 and, and so on and so forth with lots more to come. How to use it is very simple. Um, very, very simple. Um, we, we'll, we'll do, I'll do a quick demo. Okay. So, um, Facebook, when you hover over it, it'll just tell you what you need. So for a Facebook post, it's just telling you post text, post text. So you just, you know, line one after line. What's the data source? That's up here. Okay. So, hi, Facebook friends. Hi, Facebook friends. Okay. Um, so I should be logged in. That should probably work. And, and then that'll go to Facebook and post on my Facebook um, page. Hi, Facebook friends. So let's just see that. We'll do that demo here. And then what I'll do is I'll do a keyword based one um, where it will go and do a keyword search in Facebook and then go and like or join, either join groups or like fan pages. Okay, so um, hi, Facebook friends. It's looking for the thing, whatever, I don't know. It's, I'm slow. My internet line is a bit slow. And there you go. And hi, Facebook friends. And we're posted and we're good. Okay, awesome. So that's it. That's how that works. Okay, so you put that in there. That's the data source. So let's um, move. It's like kind of frozen-ish over there. Um, proxies and so on and so forth. Just sometimes, you know, just give it a little bit of a help over there and refresh the page and you'll see the post should be there sometimes you know you'll get these you'll get this sometimes and, that, and that's just basically the the proxies are a little bit slow so it's all taking a little bit of time for everything to catch up okay so let's go to the post there you go there's the post just now okay so that's the data source now let's do this keywords join groups by keyword join like pages by keyword so you see keyword one keyword two keyword three so we're going to do muscle building, fitness, and body building. Okay, so what that will do is it will go to muscle building, fitness, and body building. It'll search for each one of those keywords, but I'm just going to do one now. We'll just do fitness. And it will join a group to do with fitness. And then it'll like a page to do with fitness. So it's going to go into the open graph up here. It's going to go and do a search for fitness, um, as you see, fitness. And then it's going to join. Request sent. There you go. Lovely. Now it's moving on to the next one. And it's going to go and do a search for fan pages. Oh, there. Now it's doing. Oh, that was the last one. It's done. It's done that already. Okay. So now it's doing the request sent. Um, thought it was a little bit quicker than usual. And now it's going on to do another search for fitness, but it's going to look for a fan page now, and it's just going to go like a random fan page. 
So it's just going and engaging. As you can see, all of the previous liked fan pages, and it'll scroll down and find a page that has not been liked yet, if they've all been liked, as you can see over here. So um, just give it a second or two to scroll down. And there you go. Scroll down, liked, and we're good, and it's done. Um, and it's the same with all of them. Um, Facebook liked, and this is the, the other one is just here. So you can just literally add a bunch of URLs in here. And the quick way to do that is like this. Just get rid of that. So you could just come here. So if you want to just engage a couple of fan pages, just drag the URLs. We're going to have a better way so you can like send them all here, just like in the Dominator. Um, but if you just want to get a whole bunch of URLs in there quickly to just engage and you've already liked them. So you just click that play check and then that's going to go and it'll find fitness blender then fitness lover fitness tip tricks and then office fitness and it'll go to those pages and it'll just like a random post and then you've got the loops down here so you can click that and make that one two three four five six seven eight nine ten however many you want and click play loop and it'll just keep looping and like more posts on the page and more posts and more posts you can do between five and seven so it'll do a minimum of five and you know maximum of seven and now it's going to go and scroll down and find a post and randomly um and randomly um like it so this is awesome so you can do this this is this is the automation this is within the browser this is the browser based automation um, which I tend to use a lot, a lot, um, for all, well, basically for everything, everything that's in here so far. Um, and what I tend to do as well is, is for my, I'll show you how I set up the Browsio IA module, which is really cool. Um, okay, so there you go. It scrolled and liked. And as you can see, we added in all these different weights and all these different, um, you know, humanization. So nothing is set. It's all randomized and so on. So I'm just going to stop that. So if you want to stop, just we'll just stop the process there and it won't go through the rest of them. Let's jump to Browsio IA. And here you have it, okay? We've made huge, massive changes on how we use the SEO module and how we use, well, pretty much everything, but how we import is really cool. So now it's all segmented and, you know, you don't need to... Um, um, work out where everything is coming from. Oops. Oops. Don't need to work out where everything is coming from. So we've got all the projects and everything like this. So it, it's 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 really easy now. Just you don't have to go crazy looking for, <laughs> you know, for different projects. It was a bit of a nightmare in the SEO module. And then you refresh here, get your macro set up. Same exact thing. Only difference is um, you could now go and join Facebook groups en masse and you can set it at a minimum one and a maximum three for example. If you do macros in separate windows it's going to actually open up three Facebook windows for a profile and it will basically it's not recommended because you'll just end up with like if you do all of these Basically, if you're okay, I'll go. I'm going to go into this on, to, on the webinar. I'm getting too in detail, and I don't want to spend too much time on this. But basically, don't don't mess around with this just yet over here. Um, this is the data folder exactly like over here. Okay, only difference is it's here. Okay, so don't do macros in a separate window just yet. I'll explain that in detail on the webinar, and then just click run. Make sure to put a keyword in here. And uh, we've got muscle or body building and join group and run and between one and three. And there you have the automation there all set up and automating away. Oh, apologies on the, uh, on, the, on, the, on, the, on the loading page, but I wanted a really, really fast load page and that happens to be a really fast loading page I actually did a Google search for the fastest web on the internet and I found this one so um, yeah don't be offended
And as you can see down here, they've all loaded, right? So we've got some good proxies going on here, and it's going to start with the automation. I'm not going to bore you with all of that, but that's how you use Vergio version 3.0. There you have it. See, we're all going through, we're getting through, and it's going, and it's going to join groups. So I've just got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight Facebook profiles going out, joining um, Facebook groups. And these are my minions, right? These are not my authority um, profiles. All right, guys. So um, enjoy. See you on the webinar, and see you in the group.